I just thought I'd share what I normally do to make up a line for my warm water type of Tenkara fishing that I do. I use polypropylene for my butt section. I figured out a real simple way to determine what length, total length of line that I need as well as the butt and the leader sections. Um, on the butt section, I found that it works really well to make the butt section the same length as the rod. So if I was making up a line for a rod that was 12 foot long, I'd use a 12 foot butt section of the polypropylene. For the leader section, if you'll make your leader length half of the length of the rod, that will then give you a line that's quite a bit longer than your rod and it's still going to cast really well. As I said, if we were doing this for a 12 foot rod, I'd have 12 feet of my butt material and then I would have 6 feet of my leader material. For a 12 foot rod, that'll leave you with an 18 foot long line for your Tenkara rod. Then I like to make a loop out of 20 pound um, Dacron fly line backing. The polypropylene is pretty stiff. It doesn't have near as much action as, as the fly line backing, which is a lot more limp. So when you tie your loop with the backing, it will move more freely than if you just attach your butt section directly to your Lillian. Some of the things that I use, I use a lighter, uh, a regular pencil, and a pair of scissors to make up my lines. But I found that with any rod I've tried this on, this is gonna get you definitely in the ballpark for the proper length, is to use your butt section as the length of your rod, and your leader section as half of that. We'll just say you had an eight foot long 10 car rod you do an eight foot long butt section and then you would do a four foot long leader section. And that would give you a 12 foot long Tenkara line to go on your eight foot rod. For my leader material, I'm gonna use this polypropylene that's white um, just because it's easier to see. Uh, you probably wouldn't be able to see the mono very well. So just pretend like this is your mono or your fluorocarbon leader and then this will be my polypropylene butt material. So in order to, to tie all this together what I do is I take my length of butt section for my line I go ahead and tie a perfection loop on each end. And If you can't follow along with this video there's a lot of good videos that show how to tie a perfection loop I learned how to tie it by watching other YouTube videos. All you want to do is take your line that you want to tie your loop in, and twist it back behind itself. I'm going to just twist that back like that. Now I've got a loop here. My tag end is under my long end. So my tag end is underneath the long end on that loop. And I just pull it down. Then you want to take your tag end wrap it over the top. You want to go over the top of this loop and back back all the way around behind it. So now as you can see I have my original loop and now I've created a loop right here. Again you're just taking your tag in, wrapping it over the top and all the way back around. Now I like to pull this down a little bit, this tag in just a little to where my new loop smaller than my old loop and then you want to take this tag end again back over this time you want to go between the two loops so I'm going to lay this tag end right in between those two loops so now I've got my original loops behind my second loop is in front of the original loop but my tag end has come back around between the two loops. Once you've done that, you want to pull the second loop you made back through the first. And this is, I use a pencil a lot for this. I will take my pencil and run it through the original loop and catch the second loop and pull it through just like that. I'm gonna take this 
and I'm just going to tighten this up and I, the pencil the width of the pencil is a pretty good size and you just take it and pull use the pencil to hold it and pull the line tight that's a that's called a perfection loop <clears throat> now I just take my scissors and leave oh about an eighth of an inch or so and cut cut that tag off and you don't have to do what I'm going to do here but I really think it will keep you from having any problems. I take a lighter and I kind of shield the knot somewhat with my fingers and I just kind of melt this tag in down some. Just get it close enough to melt it down and once it's hot I take it and I mash it flat and that kind of makes it mushroom out. There, there's no way that's going to fray and pull back out of that knot now. It's all one nice clean loop and because the line is pretty heavy it's a fairly good size knot uh, on, the, on the end where you will have your leader that actually is a good thing because that little knot there gives you just a little bit of weight that helps a lot with the casting. I'm going to tie another perfection loop at the other end of my butt section. Now, when you get done, there's a good chance one of your loops will be a little bigger than the other, but this one is a little smaller. So I'm going to use this one and show you how I attach the leader to the butt section. Alright, again I'm using this white polypropylene line just to demonstrate with because it's easier to see. I'm going to take my leader section, which is half the length of my butt section and tie a perfection loop on one end of it. Alright, now to attach the leader to the butt section I use a loop to loop connection and that's real simple. You just take your loop for your leader and pass your butt section through that loop. See what I did there? The leader goes over the loop on the butt section. Now you take your end that you'll tie your hook to on your leader and run it through underneath the loop on your butt section. Now what you've done is created a loop to loop connection where the two loops will slide inside of each other and pull down tight. It almost makes a figure eight when you've done this correctly. Then you just pull it down tight, cinch it up, now there is your butt section with your leader section attached. I usually cut about an 8 inch long section of the fly line backing to make my loop. I just take my two ends there and get them even with each other. Then I will take this loop that I've created and just tie a double overhand knot. Real simple knot that pretty much everybody knows how to tie. So I'm just going to do real similar to a perfection loop here. I'm just going to twist these behind each other and I'm going to hold them together like that. And I'm going to take the end of the loop and pass it through once and a second time. And that's going to create a double overhand knot and make a really strong knot for this loop section that I've just created. And I like to trim it off too. I don't try to cut it real short or mushroom it out or anything, but I do take, this Dacron will melt real easily too, and I'll take those two ends there and cut them off and heat them a little, and I'll just kind of push them together to where now those two tag pieces are just kind of melted together into one little end piece. So that's my loop. To attach the loop to the butt section we're going to do the exact same thing as we did on the leader section attachment. We're going to do a loop to loop connection this loop to this perfection loop on the butt section. Same way we're going to pass the loop over the line then from the underneath side, I'm going to pass the tag end of the loop 
through the loop on the butt section just like that and there's our figure eight again and just pull it down tight and there is now my loop attached to my butt section so now the whole leader will look like this you'll have about a three inch long loop section then you'll have your butt section that is the same length as your rod and that will tie into your leader section which is half the length of your rod now to attach the loop to the end of the 10 car rod again this end is called the Lillian to attach my loop onto the Lillian I'm just going to do a real simple connection here and it's a little hitch you just take your loop and I like to put my fingers in the loop like that and grab my butt section and pull it through so now I've created a little hitch here this loop will tighten down when you pull on it it will tighten down on itself so now that I've created that hitch I will just take that loop pass my Lillian through it and I like to kind of hold the end of the Lillian where my knot is with the loop and just pull it down tight like that then while it's still a little loose I like to pull this towards the end of the the knot there and pull it tight when you're doing this you want to make sure that you're holding the Lillian and not your rod tip because this will break if you start yanking on it and pulling real hard you're putting it at a really funny angle that it wouldn't have if it was if it was just being used for fishing and it will break when it's used for fishing the whole rod distributes the load evenly but if you grab it here and start yanking on this Lillian you will break that tip section so make sure when you're tightening these down you're holding the Lillian and not the tip of the rod now you can see those that hitch has tightened up around the end of the Lillian and it's butted up to that knot so it's something that's pulling on this a fish it's not going to come loose but it's real easy to take this back off if you want to just by pulling your tag in it will pull that loop back loose again and all you got to do then is just pass your Lillian back through that loop so that's all tightened up so now, so now we've got a hitch attaching our loop to the Lillian we've got a loop that's just using a double overhand knot to make a loop there's a perfection loop in this section of the butt and this is just a loop to loop connection between our loop and the butt section and moving on down we've got two perfection loops one on the end of the butt section one on the leader and then we're using a loop to loop connection to connect the two lines and all the way to the end of the leader where you will put your your fly your lure your hook whatever you're using that will attach here if you're using what I'm telling you is the way that I fish for warm water tankara fishing um, using this poly as this polypropylene line as a floating butt section if you fish that way if you make your butt section the same length as your rod and you make your leader section half the length of your rod that's going to get you in the ballpark for where you need to be that would be a good a good length to start experimenting with to see how you like it then you can make a decision if you want to go longer or shorter um, but that's going to give you a, a total length of line that is one and a half times the length of your rod and it's easy to cast that way I've not found a rod that would not cast that setup and it's easy to cast it will cast in the wind especially once this poly gets wet it gets a little weight to it it'll cast beautifully in the wind but that's all I got I just wanted to kind of share that with y'all and 
I, I thought that was a little more in depth explanation and also since I've started trying this the butt section is the length of the rod and then the leader section is half the length of the rod I get a really nice long line and I get super easy casting still and it's just a real simple thing to remember butts the length of the rod the leaders half the length of the rod